hi there. This is Doris. Um, I just wanted to touch base with you about Mindful Mondays. It just came to me over the weekend when I struggled to sleep <laughs> that people need this message. So, um, if we think about feelings buried alive, never die. Our feelings can affect our health and wellness, positively or negatively, and in most cases it's negative. So think about 90,000 thoughts a day, repeating day in and day out, negative, based on a word, an experience. It doesn't have to be a traumatic experience. That affects our health and wellness. They repeat every day, every day, every day, and you're not even aware. So, when you understand that you can control that, it takes some work. But there are tools that, sorry, there are tools that you can put in your toolbox to support you. Reading has been a way to deal with being away from other people right now. Um, change your thoughts, change your life. Absolutely. I'm not sure if that's backwards, but the power of now, living in the moment, understanding that the only thing we know about is right now and the past. You can let the past rule your now. Or you can live in the now. Think and Grow Rich. How many people are aware of this book? It's hours and hours to dissect this beautiful book. My Bible is The Essential Life. I can open up my book and look up any problem I have and find a solution that is natural and healthy. With what's happening in the world today, our thoughts can be our worst enemy. They can cause dis-ease over time. Actually, they did this before, but now everything is magnified. So I thought, I can't control it. I can focus on what I can't control and go nuts, right? I can focus on what I can control. Firstly, my reactions. I can control how I react to what I can't control, right? Secondly, I can focus on, okay, here's the situation. What can I control? And I can act on that, right? But this little book, Mindfulness, it sat here on my counter and I don't even remember how I got it. It might have been a free shipping thing or it might have been a mentor. But it's jam packed with ideas to help you be in the now, to help you understand that everything is not doom and gloom. Yes, we have to be mindful in that regard too. Being reckless without any regard for anybody else, I don't think that's the answer either. Um, I didn't highlight in this book because it's just so pretty. I didn't want to mess it up, but let me just find the page. It's actually what I do every day as an educator of 33 years. I believe each and every day I enter into my classroom is a new day. And my students, they bring to that platform their individuality, their uniqueness. So although I'm, oh, here it is. Um, we're all different and special. So we do not attempt to become 
like somebody else, but connect more deeply with our true selves. That's it. We're all here for a purpose. Right now, this day, this minute, we are all good enough. Can we be better? Will we be better? Will we find our true purpose? Absolutely. But to get you through today and tomorrow, I want us to work through this little book and also some ideas in Buried Alive Never Die. If you bury your feelings, they never die. They eat away at you. Think and Grow Rich. The potential to be amazing is in each and every one of us. We have mental blocks. We have fears. Most of which happen after we're born. We're born into this world. I see it with my granddaughters. They just take everything in. What you feed them is who they will become. You feed them the potential that they have inside of them without fear. It's amazing to see the growth. The power of now. Eckhart Tolle, this is five million copies sold. Does the power of now mean we don't think about the future? No. But stop dwelling on the past. It will keep you stuck. It will repeat that story. Our brains are funny. <laughs> I'm learning more and more. Our brains try to protect us from that feeling that hurt us. And any time we try to experience growth, it tries to shut us down. Anybody who has had a vestibular issue, a balance issue in their inner ear, understands that. When you try to move to correct, your brain shuts you down. It makes your head hurt. It gives you a sore neck. It makes you nauseous. It's trying to protect you. But if you can work through that with treatments and whatnot, you can overcome that. It's the same way with our thoughts. Our thoughts and experiences shape who we are. I've changed my mindset from being dig deeper. Oh my gosh. Like I say, everybody has a story. I'm not here to tell you my story. I'm honestly sick of hearing it. Everybody, let me tell you my story. It's worse than yours. No. Any story you hear, someone else's experience, whether it's worse or better, it's their story. Unless you live it, you can't understand it. So don't dismiss it. Don't judge it. What's happening in the world today should be a stark reminder to not do so. I also use my Essential Life book. I can look up anything in here and find a way naturally to support what I'm looking for. So I decided every Monday, maybe a post in the morning, and I meet you at noon, and I'm sorry if I'm late. My work from home <laughs> kept me busy. But let's work through these ideas. Um, So many things in my head. This is what I do. I am a knowledge base. I'm a problem solver. I thrive on learning about new things that can help. As an educator, that's a real asset. 
when I go to sleep at night, not so much because sometimes my brain doesn't turn off. So let's work through each Monday to figure out how we can empower ourselves, how we can live in the now, how we can appreciate everything. My attitude from shifting, from digging deeper, honestly, I'm grateful for the good, bad, and the ugly. All of it has made me who I am today, a stronger person, with a better understanding, and with tools that I don't have to succumb. I don't have to break down. I don't have to have that level of stress and anxious feelings, all of that here, which over time will make me sick. Why do I say this to you? That was me many years ago. I don't know if you can see, I have a scar here. I'm a cancer survivor and I believe cancer found me because I didn't have that toolbox to help me. So I hope you join me every Monday with some tools that can support you to live a better life, the life you were meant to live.